गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन यस वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग शेल वी बिगिन द सेशन Yes, today's topic is uh, in the last class we have finished with the various statements looping that is for while do while. In the today's class, I am going to introduce with the next statement that is known as a switch statement. So, anyone any doubts regarding the uh, for loop, while loop, do while loop? Any anything that you want to ask? Yes, these are the three loops that is used in the Java language, that is used in the C language. Everything is same. That means logic is same, but the syntax is different. So just revise it, okay? Uh, so what is the difference between the while and the do while loop? Anyone? Yes, very good. One is the entry control loop, one is the exit control. Right. Now let's move to the next part, that is the switch statement. So whenever we have our capabilities, whenever we have a condition or the scenario when we have to deal with the multiple tasks when there are a large number of the possible outcomes not only do they make the C code or the more readable they also uh, allows an efficient implementation using the data structure known as the jump table and that is an array where entry I is the address of the code segment that is implementing the action the program should take when the switch index equals one so whenever we are using the uh, index one whenever we are using the performing the array so that is used with the switch statement that is used with the array reference into the jump table using the switch index to determine the target for a jump instruction and whatever the advantage we are using of using a jump table over a long distance sequence of if else statement is that the time taken to perform the switch is independent of the number of the switch cases whatever the GCC compiler whatever the code of translating a switch statement based on the number of the cases and the sparsity of the case value then jump tables are also used when there are a number of cases and they also span a large number we can say the huge number of the values when there are multiple number of the values that is used with a jump table that is used with a jump statement so that is used with the case values also so this figure that is shows an example of the C switch statements or switch statement this example has a number of the interesting fact now this is a switch statement this is switch example in text intent so there are two variable that is defined there are two argument that is defined over here that is the in text intent then int result equals to x switch n then case 100 result in 2 equals to 13. So whatever the result that is available that is multiplied into the uh, multiplied by the 13 value then break then case 102. This is 100 zero, zero, that is 102, 103 result plus equals to 11 then break. Then case 104, 106 result in 2 equals to result that is result is multiplied with the result only. Then again there is a break then default result equals to 0. Then there is a closing curly braces and then return result. Now if I am asking about the case 100, case 0, case 102, case 103, 104, 106 that, that is multiplied with the equals to result then break then break is continued with the this one or break into equals to result then default value that is result equals to 0 then return the result. So the switch n is used with the case 100 result break 102, 103, 104, 106 then default result equals to 0. Now for example if my question yes if the scenario is that you have to go to the result that is equals to or the plus equals to 11 so we have to go to the case 103. Yes except once Yes, beyond this anything that is 107, 108, always the default is or the default is uh, uh, that is the result equals to 0. That means it is always 0. For example, if the case arises for the 108, that means result is 0. So this will be jump. That's why it is 
uses the structure of the jump table and this 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 table or these tables are supported by the DCG that an extension of the C language this is the assembly code for the sys statement that is not in your syllabus now the key point is that we have to use a go to in, in that is supported by the GCC also so we have to use that GCC compiler where the jump instruction operand is prefixed with the asterisk that is indicated an indirect jump and the operand specifies and memory location indexed by the EAX that holds the value of the index and our C code declares a jump table as an array of seven elements that is extended with the code that is extended with the pointer to a C location and that is used with the label location ID location difference operator then row data section alignment long int long n3 long l2 long l4 long n5 so whatever the uh, scenario whatever the case that is using up this is used with the case 100 101 102 and the 103 again 104 105 106 now if the case arises for the 108 so there is no case for the 108 so it automatically jump to the default case that is the result equals to zero and the different uh, code blocks that is C label location A to location through location D and the location def implements the different branches of the state statement that is also implemented with the uh, how to compute with the result or how to compute a result then go to the basic function that is the end of the function. Similarly, when we are using the assembly code blocks that also computes a value for the registers EAX and jump to the position that is indicated by the label also. Now examining all of this code requires careful study but the key point is to see that the use of a jump table allows a very efficient ways to implement a multi-way branch. In our case the program could branch to five different locations with a single jump. Yes with a single jump table that is also a jump table reference that is used with a switch statement with hundred of cases that can be handled by a single jump table access. Switch to int x int result equals to zero switch x body of the switch statement omitted then return this end. So when I when I compile this one that follows the initial part of the procedure and also follows a jump table. Then variable x is initially a, a, a used as an offset that is relative a to the registers ebp. This is switch er that is uh, included with the a b and c then answer switch a k c equals to this then case answer equals to this then break case then case answer case answer default answer and the return answers now next is the procedures how to use the various procedures in this language now next part is the procedure that is like a function that involves both the data in the form of the procedure parameter and as well as the return values and also the controls that form uh, how it is given from one part of the program to another. In addition to this, it also allocates a space for the local variable of the procedure on the entry and also deallocates them on the exit. And most of the machines including the IA32 also provide simple instructions for transferring the information to and from the procedures. Whatever the procedure, whatever the data that is available for the procedure, whatever the tool that is available for the procedures. And the passing of data and the allocation, the allocation of the local variable is also handled by manipulating the information, how it is handled and how it is carried out with the data, how it is carried out with the instructions. That is, that is, that is known as a program stack, that is known as a program inclusion. So it can be handled by the allocation, deallocation of the local variables that can be handled by manipulating the program stack. Now this is the stack frame structure. This IA32 programs make use of the program stack to support the procedure calls. That is known as a stack frame that is also used for the later restoration for the local storage and the portion of the stack that is allocated is known as the stack frame. So whatever the stack, that means whatever the space that is available. Now look with the diagram. This is the stack bottom. 
this is earlier frames this is the colorless frame argument in argument one and data net so this is the increasing address frame address current frame and this is also known as uh, this is also known as a stack frames that is used with the P and the Q one is a caller one is a coli that is used with the stack frames for the P only in addition to this when it is calling with the return procedure so within the P when the program should resume the execution when it returns from Q that is pushed onto the stack forming the end of the P stack frame and the stack frame for Q also starts with the saved value of the frame pointer that is also known with the frame pointer copies of the data and any any saved register value whatever the value that is available for the push data now these are the procedure that also uses the stack for any local variable that cannot be stored in the value that cannot be uh, localized in the register and that can also occur for the following reasons the main reason is that there is no enough space for the register to store each and everything that is a local variable some of the local variables are arrays or structures and must be accessed by the array or the structure reference and the address operator is applied to the local variable hence we must be able to generate an address for it that is we are using the ampersand sign for the local variable for the local data that that holds of the local content in addition to this, Q also uses the extract frame for storing the arguments to any procedure it calls, whether it is using the EBB and the remaining argument that is used with the data type not more than the four byte, that is the EBP ESP, that is a stack pointer with the top of the element of the stack. And data can be stored on and retrieved from the stack using the push shell, pop L instructions, and the space for the data with no specified limit. Initial value can be allocated on the stack by simply decrementing the stack pointer by an appropriate amount. Whatever the amount that is available, so that, that space will be allocated or can be deallocated by incrementing the stack pointer. Then next is how to transfer the control, that is transferring the control that supports the procedure calls and returns are shown in the following table. One is calling the label, then procedure call, print procedure call, leave, prepare stack for the return, return from the clock. That is a target indicating the address of the instruction where the call procedure also starts like the jump we can also call either via direct or indirect that is used with the assembly code that is used with the targets of as a label. While the target of an indirect call is given by the asterisk followed by an operand specifier using one of the formats. And the effect is to push a return address on the stack and jump to the start of the called procedure or the calling procedure. That our specifier, that our operand that is using one of the format either to push a return address on the stack, either to use a jump on of the start to known as a procedure. This is one of the diagram that shows EIP, ESP, EIP, ESP and uh, one is executing the call after the call after retry. Then we can also use the call function and the retrieve instruction for the sum and the main function that is introduced in this section and these are the experts of the disassemble call for the two functions also that is used with the EIP. And the leave instruction can be used to prepare a stack for the returning that is equivalent to the following code sequence. Then the register usage convention that is used as a resource or a single resource shared by all of the procedures. Whether it is used with a procedure that can be active at any given point of time with a curly function with the registers EAX, ETX, ECX. And this, this function is also, we can say, the part of the beginning of the assembly code generated by the DCC for the C procedure. This is a procedure example. We are using the swap add caller that is used with argument one, argument two. This is the next function for the swap add. This is the same scenario that is the frame pointer EBP, frame stack pointer ESP. 
slide here. What is an array? How to allocate the data in between and how to access the element from the array. So one is the array allocation. So what is an array? That is a contiguous allocation of the memory or a continuous collection of the memory. When we collect multiple data, that is known as the array allocation and the access is and the access is whatever we are using, whatever whatever the data we are using that is also one of the part of the array allocation that is available with the array so that is so next is used with the array allocation that is out of bind memory allocation or when we use the array allocation So that is array allocation, that is one of the usual feature of the C, that is how we can generate the pointer to eliminate within the array and also performs arithmetic with these pointers also. That will be translated into the address computation in the machine code that will be used when this one and also co co compromises or use the array index this, that can make the correspondence between the C code and its translation into the machine code somewhat that is different from this one. Now, what are the various basic principles in this one is for using the data type T and the integer constraint N, the declaration will be TAN. That has two effects. First, it allocates the contiguous region of the L, then N bytes in the memory where L is the size in the bytes of data type T. Now, let us denote the starting allocation as XA. Second, it also introduces an identifier A. That means we are using the identifier that is also used as a pointer of the beginning of the array. This is one of the address. This is XA plus L into I. That is example care A12. Now this is using the array. Now if I'm talking about this A12 that is using the array that contains 12 allocation that is from 0 to 11. Then pointer B8 that is also using the allocation from 0 to 7. Then C6. Then D5. These are the arrays that is used with the pointer arithmetic that is used with the pointer. So that is then using the popular allocation, the nested array, that means array within the array. The general principle of the array allocation and the referencing holds even when we create the arrays of the array. Now, for example, when we declare the object that is int A53, that means we are declaring the rows as a five. So there are five rows in this and there are three columns in this. That is equivalent to the declaration type def int rows 3, T3. Then row 3, T A5, that is used with the defined as an array of the three integers that contains five such elements that require the 12 byte to store the data of the three integers. Then the total array size that is used with the five into four into five into three. Why? Because we are taking the four rows, five rows and the three columns. Because we are declaring the array for four, four, zero, one, two and three, four. Right, so 4 into 5 into 3, that is a 60 byte it reserved for this. And this is also a two dimension array with five rows and the three dimensions array with the three columns that is referenced as A0 through A42. And the array elements are ordered in the memory in the row major order, that means all the elements of the row 0 which can be written as a A0, that is followed by the elements of the row 1 that is either a1 and so on that means we are it is using a0 a1 a2 till a3 or the a4 this is a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 that ordering is also the consequences of our nested declaration that is used and to access the array elements of the multi-dimension array that compiler also generates a code to compute the offset of the desired element and also uses one of the move instruction with the start of the array as the base address and the possibly scaled offset as an index in general when we use the index that, that is an array that is also declared as a t d c or the r Next is a fixed size array. We are going to fix the size of the array. That is not there is not flexibility. We can say that the size will not use for this. So that is not fixed. So there is a define n16.
for example suppose we declare the uh, data type of the f x matrix to be 16 by 16 of the integers as follows that illustrates a good coding practice whenever whatever the program that uses some constraint that is either uses an array declaration dimension or the buffer size that is the best suit to or best to associate a name that is with the wired defined declaration name consistent rather than the numeric value that is using the uh, array declaration that is using with this one next is the variable size as i uh, i told you that there are a size of the array that is variable that is not constant there is a fixed matrix a fixed matrix b int i k j result equals to 0 j is less than n j plus plus so this is result plus equals to a i j into b j k that is used with the optimized result there is a code to compute the element also now next is the structure that is a heterogeneous data structure in this there are two main element that is used one is the structure one is a union it is declared with a keyword struct that is then the aggregate object into a single unit then the union that is also declared using the keyword union that allows an object to be referenced using the uh, some several di different data type that is also available with the heterogeneous data types So that is used with the uh, several data types. So one is the struct that creates a data type that groups different possibly into a single object. This this structure I am going to take in the next class that is in the tomorrow's class. So till now any doubts anyone regarding the any anything array.